Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux distribution review. Today we will be looking at Tanglu Linux. Tanglu Linux is a Debian testing based distribution from Germany. And for the most part, when you first look at it, it is pretty much vanilla Debian. Nothing that jumps out or makes it say, hey, look at me, I'm unique, I'm wonderful. But that's just the outside. Let me tell you a little bit about the Tanglu project. I've read a few of their blogs, tried to see what it is about Tanglu that makes it special. And what I have found out is that they are attempting to create a desktop environment that is as vanilla as you can get for both the user and the developer. The point of Tanglu is to allow for developers another location to place their applications that they've built in an upstream environment that others can test and use before it can go into the stable. This will allow for developers to build applications, put them into the Tanglu repositories, and allow for users to download them, install them, and test out the new versions. And this is a good thing because sometimes Debian does have some long freeze time. Uh, they are very stable, and sometimes it is very difficult to get an application that you are ready for upstream testing into the repository for Debian because of all the freezes that they do and lockdowns that are there to keep their distribution as stable as possible. Therefore, the developers and instigators of Tenglu Linux have built this flavor of Debian so that it can be kind of an interim place for developers to bring their software to the table. They want to keep it as vanilla and as generalized as possible because they don't want it to be confused with a bunch of extra stuff that is just you know pie in the sky from what I understand. All in all Tanglu this week has been a very stable version of Linux and this version is just 1.0 release client which means that it is not fully accepted as this is the final product. There are a few things here and there that I have seen that need a little bit more polishing, but for the most part, Tanglu seems to be a pretty good OS. The installation, of course, went very smoothly. Uh, standard Debian install, really. You know, when you take a look at so many different Debian distributions, you realize that, yeah, it's that. It's the same. It works. Nothing confusing or scary about it. The applications that are installed are quite simple, pretty much the generic ones that you're used to seeing, of course. Not too much to brag about or anything else, they're just what you need to be able to run a simple desktop. I did not see, of course, uh, the GIMP, but that can easily be added. You know, that's just it. You don't want sometimes when you've gotten used to a Linux distribution to be bombarded by too much software and it's always good sometimes to just have a clean system that you can just install what you need. It does come of course with Firefox as the default browser but as I said anything like that can be changed easily within the application installer. We look at the internet as you can see there uh, just your typical standard software Firefox, uh, IM chatting, um, conversation for IRC in multimedia, it did come with the Amazon Downloader, which I think that's great. Yeah, it makes uh, downloading songs and MP3s that you purchased from Amazon much easier. I did install the GUVC Viewer, of course, and Simple Screen Recorder to capture the screen. And it did come with VLC Media Player. It came with, of course, LibreOffice. And then, of course, your standard utility settings, etc. Now, I will mention that inside a system there was not the synaptics that I'm used to seeing but they did use Apper 
software management to be able to look for and find software to install. This seemed to run well for me and I had no problems at all getting software installed and being able to use the system through Apper even if it wasn't synaptic. The applications have run smoothly. I've had no issues. Everything has just been pretty much a standard look and feel and runs very well. As I remind you, Tangaloo is not going out there in attempt to you know, make something that looks really fancy and unique, but really trying to create a stabilized desktop environment while still utilizing the testing branch of Debian instead of the stable. And one moment while I mute my sound over here. Uh, there we go. I'm sure you don't want to hear. Da -doo, da -doo. I guess my IRC channel got a little excited there for a moment. <laughs> All right. Other than what I have mentioned, you know, and the fact that it is a release client, you can expect that there will always be a few issues here and there that you may run into. I have looked at a few different release clients that are out there, and you know they all have their their bugs here and there. This is their main website and development issues and of course I'm on my computer that has the really bad wireless networking issue all the time where if I fluctuate while the laptop is sitting here it starts to go wonky on me uh, that's where I wanted to be uh, there we go their main website right here at tanglu.org and if you want to read more about it they do have a frequently asked questions area a getting started a wiki which um, when I looked at some of the stuff in the wiki I think a lot of it's kind of still very brand new very little to actually do within the wiki if you look at uh, releases you'll see that we are only on version 1.0 and it is still the release client according to DistroWatch they do have a good idea and I do think that it may work you know what they're looking at trying to do if you want to know more about it right here in their blog they do talk about this and it was last updated as of a year ago just about 14 March 2013 so it has been a year since they actually mentioned anything on their blog but it was just recently that they were finally posted to DistroWatch. An up and coming distro for Debian? Most likely so. I hope you enjoyed this distribution review. As I said, simple, to the point, nothing too fancy, but stable, and they have some really great ideas about what they want to implement. So take a look at Tanglu if that's something that you're interested, if you're a developer that works with Debian and wants to look for a package location that they can put that they don't want experimental now they do say that very clearly that their packages that they want to have uploaded they don't want to be stuck in the experimental phase and that you're trying to throw them in as yeah these are ready for production let's test them out they do specifically state that they do want the applications to be as close to production as ready as possible but this gives you a chance to get your software in the upstream despite the distribution limitations that the main Debian branches may offer you. So until next time, whether it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. This is Tanglu Linux. This is Das Gregor signing off. Bye, guys. If I can find my simple stream recorder. It's here somewhere. See ya.